and welcome to a Drive Thursday. I'm Tristan, and this is Hunt Tells Elementary Tiger Talk. And I'm Cameron. Today is Thursday, November 18th, 2021. We are here to make sure you know what is happening at Hunt But first, we need everyone to stop what you're doing and take a moment for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Moment of Silence. Now it's time. Ready, salute, pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please take a moment to think about the kind of day you would like to have. Now it's time for the most important thing. Let's hear about today's lunch meal from our kitchen correspondent. Today our chef in the cafeteria are preparing scrambled eggs, sausage, cereal, cream, grits, tater tots, baby carrots, and rosy applesauce, and ass assorted fresh fruit. Don't forget you can purchase ice cream for one dollar. We hope you enjoy the lunch today. That sounds delicious. Today is an important day for some of our students and our staff. It's time to wish some very special people a happy birthday. We want to say happy birthday to James Hall. We hope you have a great birthday. Happy birthday to all of you. Now let's learn how we can each be our very best, which will help make our class, school, and world a better place. One simple way to see if you are able to manage your own behavior is to see how you act when no one is looking. For example, are you able to walk down the hallway correctly with your mouth closed in a line and with your hands by your side? Walking in a line is something we are taught to do in pre-K, so by the time we get to Hutto, we should be experts at it. Take time today to watch yourself and other kids move down the hallway. Are you able to control your behavior or do you need help? from an adult. If not, then you need to manage your behavior. Thank you to Miss Daltrey for helping run our canned food drive. Thank you for everyone who brought in things. Again, congratulations to fifth grade winner Miss Blevins class, fourth grade winner Miss Gardner's class, and third grade winner Miss Benton's class who won school wide. Remember, helping others helps each and every one of us. Thank you for helping us all be our very best. This week is a special week that we celebrate for many reasons. Let's find out what is going on. Northeast woodlands native were surrounded by trees and those trees were used for everything. Homes were the main thing the trees were used for. Wigwams were also called birch bark houses and long houses were completely made of trees and mud. They even used tree bark to make clothing and carve bowls and eating utensils out of the trees. Of course, one of the main ways they traveled was by creating a canoe out of a tree. This was because there were so many rivers in the northeast that the flowing water made it easier to get around. Okay guys, on December 15th, we have a super awesome free program where Barnhill Preserve is going to come and show us and provide us with the unique experience to get up close and personal with animals that you have never seen before. You're gonna get to ask questions, get involved in demonstrations, and even pet and touch some of the animals. It's super educational and entertaining. We cannot wait for this to happen because the exotic animals are so cool with kangaroos, snakes, parakeets, cockatoos, all kinds of different animals and birds. You got a yellow slip and you need to bring it back. That is your permission slip form. The program is free, but you have to have the permission slip form. So you need to check your bags now. And if not, you need to get that signed so you can participate. Also, you're, you'll be able to take pictures 
for $10 each with an animal of your choice and you will be able to purchase some of the really cool products they have. Check out Barnhill Preserve online to see what all you have. And remember, bring back in your yellow permission slip and your order form. Remember the choices you make determine if you earn points or if you lose points. You earn points by making good choices and lose points when you make bad choices. Our behavior reward for this week is a special grade level activity. Remember your goal is to earn an 85% or higher average in class dojo. So think about what you can do to help you reach that goal. Now it's time for us to sign off. We'll see you next time on Tiger Talk.